Hello everyone. I am Dr. Omkar Sangeeta Dilipraw Sononi, a part of Team AFMG, and today we are excited to welcome on board Dr. Madan Prasad, and we are very glad that he has successfully cleared his foreign medical graduate examination in the recently conducted June 2022 session. So, first of all, Dr. Madan, a wholehearted congratulations to you as well as to your parents and family. We are glad that you have crossed the mark, and we are eager to welcome you on this side of the fence now. So first of all, we would like you to introduce yourself to our audience. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir. That's a great uh, welcome for me from the AFMG side from you. Uh, if, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Madan Prasad. Uh, I have completed my uh, degree from Kazan State Medical University, Russia, in the batch of uh, 2021 June. I have completed. So uh, the. The starting of my preparation starts with the July of 2021, sir. Uh, unfortunately, I can't write the December exam due to the eligibility certificate. As we all know, the NMC has changed some rules. Uh, yeah. During those those times, I was preparing by myself. Uh, after that, uh, in November session, November time, uh, I came to know that about AFMC. My whole colleague, all of them are with AFMC, and they have cleared in the first attempt, sir. So from the time itself, I have started to follow all the chanting sessions uh, which are uploaded in the YouTube, sir. Uh, after uh, the December exam session, I was too much depressed. Uh, I can't even to study for about uh, two weeks, and then I have uh, picked myself up from where I live, and uh, I have started uh, to question myself. Uh, I was not a dedicated student as like others. Uh, I can't able to. Do continuous revisions or studies of more than like five or six six hours. So uh, I asked my colleague. Uh, one of my friend was Satish. Uh, he also from the batch December 2021. He completed in the first attempt. Then he gave me uh, how to join AFMC. Uh, then I approached the AFMC and started my classes on the February month. The first class I attempted was the pathology from Tarun Sharma sir. Uh, it was so good. I have I have been. At the my system for uh, more than three days, it was on the trot. I did not uh, sit for an online class for that much long. Uh, and the online classes are more interactive. I can ask Ushin. The and he was he was super. He just explained what are the things I asked. That I I I I will always thank Kathalji sir for giving me an introduction into AFMC online classes. Then uh, each and every subject came handy. Like I have studied some of the subject previously, the, uh, what AFMG have done to me is like a bridge between my clinical knowledge and my practical knowledge. Uh, then uh, they started uh, psychiatry and biochemistry. Everything will fall into place. Uh, I just blindly followed AFMG. Their coaching, uh, the staffs are absolutely super, and I have followed the test series and test discussion. Everything were were amazing. And and the one of the thing I love the most is the You sir, from you, you have been the center focus of all those chanting sessions and test and discussions, and you have covered almost all the points which which have been left from the lectures. So it's a great. Uh, I'm very thankful for AFMG from where I have been now. We are glad, Dr. Madan, that we could be a part of it. Definitely, we are also extremely elated for the same reason. Now, uh, my next question was the same. Like, what role did AFMG play, and what difference did you observe when you were uh, preparing yourself and when you joined AFMG? What was the major difference that you observed? So, uh, pre- previous to AFMG, I was just studied. I don't have any plans. I just uh, uh, take ten days to this subject and one week to this subject, and I just do some MCQs here and there. And uh, the revision part that was the major chunk uh, I was missing before that. But uh, after joining AFMG, they have a clear schedule where the classes have been held and the test and uh, discussions were there and chanting sessions were and the Telegram group it was very awesome, sir. Uh, the onliners those are the things which I appreciate the most because in, in the exam I have uh, like more than ten ten marks I have stored from those uh, onliners itself. For example, I have read somewhere in the group uh, irregularly irregular. I have able to crack that answer in the exam. It was that easy. And the images, the everything fall into place where the students don't have to crumble here and there. 
they have to just focus and be with AFMG. I I am very glad that I came with the AFMG this time, sir. Yeah, I am not sure I could have been uh, done this without AFMG. I am sure about that. Uh, I am not a. Yeah, I am also not. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Um, I am not a person that uh, who too much be dedicated to themselves. Uh, I was sloppy here and there, but I I am a hard work. I do my hard work, and uh, I was searching for someone to guide. Uh, and there, the AFMG came to me. Right, right, right. That's most important because uh, having a regular schedule is much more important. So that sets in a discipline. and discipline is a very important factor that plays a role in your fmg preparations that's a must yeah, yeah. Uh, apart from this definitely you mentioned about dr tarun sharma i am a biggest fan of him so i have been also taught by him and he is one of the best faculties that we are taught with so talking about dr tarun sharma uh, i just uh, like would like to ask you a question that uh, most of us are actually amused by the renowned faculties and all of them but uh, some people take a step back when it comes to less uh, less known faculties so dr tarun sharma do is not a very renowned faculty but uh, as you said as i have experienced personally like he is a brilliant faculty in himself so what is your advice so like uh, does it really play a very important role that the faculty should be well renowned or uh, the content and the faculties uh, like the teaching way of the faculties matter more yeah uh, as you said the second part of the question was the best uh, because uh, the popularity does not came with teaching Uh, i know that most of the staff in afmg are particularly in afmg uh, if i am saying that manish soni for a medicine he was absolute he, you know that you know what are the things he teach everything will come into the exam you don't need any other source for medicine sir likewise uh, I, i i always have a respect for every staff they know what they are doing and they, al- they already they have uh, teach for many years from the student so just blindly follow them you they will Uh, always help you uh, and most of the time uh, i have studied more well with the biggest subjects uh, the subjects are medicine surgery and obstetrics these three i never never ever forget those subjects those staffs are brilliant uh, usually uh, my plan was to study uh, i have one of my senior uh, his name is balwan uh, he just guided before the exams and in the university exam also he helped me so uh, he just told me just focus on uh, paraclinical subjects like anatomy biochemistry pharma those are the very uh, tricky ones uh, we can't able to study those at the last moment uh, but we can do the clinical subjects at the last moment because we already studied those so uh, at, at first my my plan was to, to score uh, 100 marks in the first paper and everything will be fine after that but in exam that exact opposite have, have happened there that's a different story so yeah. uh, the faculty uh, doesn't matter who teaches the man which matters is how he teaches how he approaches you how he uh, help you to crack a case like that those are the important things which absolutely we can find in afmg and all those stuff will be so helpful for them that's most important because uh, trust you need to have trust on your faculties on your notes so definitely that yes, can sir. yield the best results out of it for sure i uh, now actually you important or uh, a very important point that you have mentioned right now like most of the people are just uh, <clears throat> complaining about the pattern of the examination this time first of all my question would be how did you find the pattern of the examination and uh, secondly i would like to know as you mentioned a very important point that faculty has asked you to focus on the para clinical subject because i have seen uh, almost from recent uh, times that people are excluding the pre and para clinical subjects from the preparations almost they are not focusing on those so that that is the reason why they are facing difficulties with paper one so what is your take on that for the pre and para clinical one uh, so what would be your advice on that please go ahead sir uh, first of all we, we just uh, what are the things happen we have to forget those and uh, nowadays this all the exams are uh, become more clinical oriented we does not exclude even a single subject that the thing uh, for example i have left physiology because i was not there while uh, afmg was conducting those classes uh, but they asked uh, some of the questions but i really don't know if you if you know something about the physiology we can track the exam for example uh, 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 in all the subject we just have to know the overview of the subject 
if they know they can easily clear the exam because most of the time we, we think that examiner try to fail us but that's not true they just show something hard and they really uh, hide easier questions inside the paper because this time the second paper was so much easy even if someone have re- read very much they can they can even get 140 out of 150 in the second paper itself that much easy question paper but the first paper is always to uh, this time i did not see mostly uh, i did not see any theoretical questions of anatomy they were mostly focused on uh, like uh, diagram oriented image yeah. oriented and, and all those orientation uh, will be integrated uh, i just remember most of the question will be integrated with radiology and other subjects also in art also many questions are integrated with anatomy so we can't skip those uh, anatomy biochemistry in biochemistry also we we just uh, think uh, uh, they ask about crab cycle and others but they don't ask like that they just focus on clinical and clinical oriented question they ask about gaucher disease like that everything will be clinical so uh, while you, while we approaching the exam we have to be open minded and we have to be go uh, out of the book like that we have to like those are the things before the exam we have to think uh, here's a uh, thing uh, while going for exam uh, i'm i'm too much a stressed guy and depressed guy before any exam i would not study uh, because those stress took over me but this time uh, with asmg i have controlled everything but on the exam day my mother was there instead of me she fainted that's the thing there then i uh, then likewise uh, the people around me they are too nervous about me but i yeah. uh, afmg made me to clear what i have to do uh, how to approach my exam and all those faculties uh, uh, particularly vikas sir they he give uh, sometimes advice sometimes uh, you have to accept your reality likewise he gives always uh, good things to know about ourselves those help me a lot that's true so definitely uh, i would say that afmg imparted the confidence that you needed for the examination because most of the people actually lack the confidence during the exam day and yes, therefore sir. that makes a huge difference in the one more system. thing i have to one more thing i yeah, have to mention that the, this time the first paper is too much tricky uh, uh, the exam hall was so silent after the completing first paper uh, they we know what they ask but they ask the those same things in a different way uh, usually they ask about dermato giving those uh, structure image and they ask about uh, which now but this time they ask about giving a x ray picture and uh, x ray picture or uh, uh, i remember one question they just uh, uh, mark the umbilicus and ask what is the vertebrate level of this line so it was like we expected the same and they gave in a different way so right. we have to think in that way so it was the first paper was the tricky always if someone asked me what i have to do just focus on first paper for more than two months then you have more time on clinical subject that's, that's the thing i so the two most important things that you have pointed out as first of all the paper has become clinically oriented that does not mean that's only clinical subjects are being asked but rather uh, the para clinical and pre clinical subject the questions are being framed in a clinical manner right so yes. that was the important question apart from uh, important thing the, apart from that definitely you mentioned about integration so uh, how did afmg help you with integration of these subjects uh, were like usually integration was done in the classes regular classes as well as the revision tnd sessions was it done yes sir uh, first of all the first class i have started with afmg pathology tarun sir mushar Uh, while doing the GAT sessions, uh, he gave about the dermatology aspect, like uh, dermatitis herpetiformis, like the. Like, he just went on saying that that uh, not only Tarun Sharma sir, every other, for example, uh, Manish Soni sir uh, gave physiology lectures, like how uh, metabolism of uh, calcium goes on and different kinds of diseases based on calcium metabolism. Like every step they gave the integration. uh for example also the mukul mukit sir uh, orthopedic sir he was very 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 good uh, uh, because of him i have correct all those uh, orthopedic uh, questions right sir uh, just i have read uh, once or twice i have done, not done many revisions of the small subject by but i hold on the major subject 
so those small subjects have made a big difference in, in my exams sir right. so the every staff will give you some kind of inter- integration and uh, i always thank you sir you were there you gave just overall view of every subject i still remember i never uh, revised psm after your chanting classes sir those are very good i really thank you sir not only me every afg student will say yes. pleasure is all mine pleasure is all mine we are glad that we could be of any help to you in this preparation journey now i would like to ask you like uh, why like coming uh, back to your your profession now like uh, why did you choose medicine who was your inspiration uh before uh, i i would recall my childhood days uh, uh, while i was in 7th or 8th standard uh, my mother had a stroke it was a major incident that made me uh, wonder how how a person can get uh, sick or ill without a bleeding or something like that those curiosity level just made me wonder why that time i i, I asked the, the doctor at that time uh, and the duty doctor uh, he gave me a great explanation uh, i just wonder uh, how the system works and i want to know more about a human body those are the times which just turn our life everyone had those kind of uh, moments but uh, if if something happens to our family it will be more than anything so that's the point where i have to be in a medical related profession sir um after uh, 10th standard i gain more than 95% everyone was happy so i just take biology group and in 12th standard i did not score as much they expected the disappointment i can see in their face but they still believe me so uh, i have started to do medicine in abroad so i went to russia those are the some of the people helped me a lot but at last my mother she never gave up on me she was the only thing happened to me those every incidents have happened around her so that's the major thing sir that's true so ultimately i would say that she is your ultimate uh, inspiration she has led yes, to sir. this and she have always had your back in this journey as well yes. so now uh, i would like to just ask you now what are your plans after this like once you have uh, done your <coughs> major hurdle that you have crossed now what is your plan after this like would you like to appear for the neat pg examination and what are your favorite specialties sure sir i would i would like to be in neat pg preparation sir if fmc conducting i'm all, i will i will be there and say um, as every medical fmc graduates after passing the exam we have to wait for some time for internship and one year goes on and after that getting our registration we can apply for neat pg so i have a lot of time to prepare for neat pg i always take you as an ex- example for neat pg you have done all the so hard works and you have been there sir so whenever i have something hard i will pick up on you sir i don't worry about uh, what you do you always there for us sir sure sure will always be there any very from us from afmg team is always available because now you have become a part of the afmg family so now uh, so grateful for that sir yeah before parting i would like to ask you what would be your piece of advice to all the upcoming fmg aspirants what is the most important advice that you would like them to follow okay here's a thing uh, the fmg exam uh, most of the times the people think that we have to complete more subjects we have to be uh, like uh, we have to complete whole thing so that's not important the main thing is how much you can learn and how much you can recall those concepts and facts in exams nothing can prove that uh, so uh, in fmg we have grand test and test and discussion those are the like uh, lead up kind of thing whenever we have correct a question uh, marks right it will boost up our confidence i still remember uh, last before the exam i gave one of the mock test i get about 175 so that's the replication of uh, my preparation so just right. i got uh, 9 or 10 marks uh, about that but the main thing those preparation time uh, all those question discussion we have the previous year questions and the most important volatile subjects and the expected questions of everything will come from those test series so um, as a person as a, as a 
एफ एम जी ग्रेजुएट इफ यू आर इफ यू आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर ए एफ एम जी एग्जाम यू डोंट वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग जस्ट जॉइन ए एफ एम जी एंड ब्लाइंड फॉलो दिन जस्ट द पीस ऑफ एडवाइज आई always gave still i have already suggested my juniors and some of my friend who does not clear this time to join a fmc sir we would be glad to train them as well and a very important advice that uh, you have given out over here is definitely about the TN test and discussion sessions and grant tests definitely they play a huge and a major role as well so thanking you now before concluding i would like to whole heartedly thank you to take out time from your celebrations now and uh, okay. impart the knowledge and tell your juniors and the upcoming fmg aspirants about your strategy and your approach for the fmg preparations so we would once again like to congratulate you whole heartedly and we will like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavors thank you so much sir uh, before uh, uh, completing our do i just have to thank two more two more persons more than uh, anything in the world like uh, two of my friends and my father my father used to check every day at uh, like midnight 2 o'clock 3 o'clock whenever he just wakes up for uh, drinking water at night time he just checks on me and gives a cup of coffee that's more than anything that's the that's the thing uh, those the people around you they hold you together to come for this and one of my uh, friend madhu she she was just studying uh, still studying she was the last year student but she has a immense knowledge in gynecology whenever she uh, i have doubt after the class i just call her she just gave she just four gynecology facts and concepts i can't even remember how much she does and one of one more guy is my friend ramesh is a non medico he just uh, took all the depression my from me and gave me a confidence to boost up though uh, this this uh, fellow just they uh, celebrate like their victory after passing me That's those true. are the kind of people we have to uh, surround ourselves that's that's true, all that. uh, that's all we just uh, they have to support you and most of the time uh, i have mentioned four or five guys and my mother they they are sick of uh, hearing my medical knowledge <laughs> my mother my mother itself no uh, more than half uh, psychiatric disease <laughs> she knows more than more than any other that's the thing sir they always supported me and they brought me as brought me to that's the story sir that's great that's great because uh, you have pointed out that it's most important that you surround yourself with people who are continuously supporting you because that brings that positivity and the optimism into your life if even if you're not believing in yourself they will impart that confidence in you and that's most important friends and family play a very important role throughout the preparations as you mentioned about your father definitely is always a invisible support like all of us tend to miss him uh, miss them out but yes definitely they are having our back having friend discussion with friends is also important fact that you have mentioned so thank you so much we were glad to have you over and we wish you all the luck for all, anything that you take up in future and we would like to interview you in near future as a very successful clinician thank, thank you, you sir thank you sir